By the time I finish this episode, you can understand why I switched over to OBS Studio. But first, I'm Steve, this is the QA Weekly. Click subscribe down below as well as the notification bell to get notifications in the future. And if you want to be part of our private monthly live streams, which you do want to be part of, click join for details. Now, I've been a long time user of Exploit Broadcaster and have used OBS Studio in the past for many reasons, including comparative examinations of software within the Windows environment, notably my Synergy 2 versus ShareMouse episode. Regardless of all the results, I continued to use XSplit Broadcaster because I had already paid for it and because everything was already set up. And when you're really busy, you don't want to set up everything over and over and over again. So I continued to use XSplit regardless until recently. So recently I switched over to OBS Studio as my primary streaming platform because I simplified my life and just changed everything over anyway because of a few reasons that I'll get into. But there is one thing I'm gonna miss, it's how it handled chroma green backgrounds, lighting and webcam gain. But it's not enough of a reason for me to stay on the XSplit platform, which you're gonna understand very soon. Starting with the price. When you're about $100 American, when you're paying every three months per year, converted into Canadian, it's too expensive when you consider your feature set. So XSplit is really expensive when you consider the feature set you're getting. One being real, real-time preview on the screen, which I wasn't getting anymore. I was getting one frame per second even though it was streaming 60 frames per second over the internet. And I wasn't losing any frames. It was able to record in 60 frames per second, stream in 60 frames per second, but only show one frame per second. I was paying for it. I'm not paying for OBS Studio and I can do stream, record, and preview at 60 frames per second on the same hardware. That's my first annoyance. My second annoyance with XSplit is the audio levels. OBS Studio gives me the color-coded green, yellow, red audio levels. When you use a mic, you wanna make sure that you're in the high green yellows and not the red. You don't know this when you're on XSplit. There's no color code, it just goes in and out as a white line. There's nothing to tell you. If you're going up into the red or not, you have to guess. The other thing is statistics. When you are dropping frames, you need to know why. Is it rendering lag? Is it network congestion? Can I do anything about it? XSplit can't even mitigate all this. So first of all, OBS Studio will tell you if it's rendering lag or it's network congestion. If it's network congestion and you went into the settings option, under advance for network and turned on dynamic changing of bitrate, it would do like Netflix, turn down the bitrate so that you continue streaming without dropping frames, just lowering the quality until the network congestion is gone. XSplit would just drop frames entirely, giving you like the worst performance on the internet. And it's better to have real time crap than no time nothing when you're streaming. So considering all that, that was a definite issue with XSplit, which is basically proving that OBS Studio, which is free, is better in that regard. As of version 24 of OBS Studio, you have access to custom browser docs. So I have custom browser docs, my Twitch docs, and I can see everything like my chats and every, all my statistics that I have for my Twitch channel in real time as well as the activity feed. It's free and XSplit doesn't have any of this. On top of the fact that even though XSplit has hotkeys, you're paying for XSplit and OBS has them for free. So why did I change over to OBS Studio instead of using XSplit? Real-time preview, better management of the network, more information more options and the ability to use dynamically changing bit rates and hotkeys. That's why. And I probably won't be changing back to XSplit anytime soon. 
So like if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, you can comment down below or you can send them to ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can use the contact form to email me directly, view other show notes, find other solutions to other problems, and so much more. And if you want to watch me play on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash zdaxis1981, just like this channel. Thank you for watching and goodbye.